Hey guys, I have already turned on all of my apps, DoorDash, Grubhub, Spark, and Uber Eats, and it was quiet for quite a bit. Um, it is a dinner time. Dinner time has been real iffy. I feel like people aren't ordering dinner until later, like seven-ish, and a few of you guys have mentioned the same thing. So it was quiet. I had to make sure my apps are on. I'm like, what is going on? And you know, at least one of them has to send something. Well, I had to take kind of a spin for some offers to start coming in. And of course they want to start me off with the not so good ones. Uber Eats sent me one for $13.71 for five drop-offs. Now the mileage was 16.1. And I'm like, what is this? This is absolutely no. And then they wanted to send me one, of course, you know, a silence for a little bit. Then they want to send me one for $4.63 for 6.8 miles. I don't know what kind of offers these are. They just should not be allowed, but um, they are. So it is a no go. And then I did finally get something reasonable. DoorDash decided to send me something reasonable. 4.4 miles for $8.50 to Mr. Bento. I am here. The order should be ready. So I'm going to go in there, grab it and get these wheels to move in. Hi. Oh my gosh, you guys got a big order there. <laughs> Um, I have a DoorDash order for. No, no, no. We are doing. Have DoorDash yet. Uh, yeah, no, we aren't getting any DoorDash oh, orders. Oh no, yeah. really? Okay. You know why? Yeah. Then you see it's uh, not show up anything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. What a bummer. So I go into the restaurant to get my order, and I walk through the door, and there is stacks of boxes, which I'm sure you guys could see, and they're they're working on a catering order, and I come here and pick up orders frequently and they're always really good and never have any issues well anyways they tell me they don't have a DoorDash order and that the machine isn't working that it's I guess broken or they're not getting orders I don't know so I'm like okay you know that does happen occasionally it's not the first time that I've heard them and like I said they're always like super super good never have any issues if I have to wait it's a reasonable amount of time and it's usually when they're busy so I look down at my phone and the offer is not even on my phone I'm like what the heck is going on here I don't know. The offer disappeared. Their machine isn't working. I have no idea. So what a bummer. What a bummer. Hopefully I can get some more orders coming in. Um, <laughs> like I said, it's been really slow, but it comes with the territory you have these days. It is dinner time. At least I still have my coffee, except it's melted now. I got a blended mint chip coffee and um, with the chocolate chip, you know, mint pieces in here, you got to check your teeth before you go in or they'll be like covered in stuff. Um, that's the only downfall, but it is so good. Just got to check the tea. So speaking of coffee, my husband and I went to get coffee the other day, not today. And I pulled up into the front parking spot and I locked my car and we ordered our coffee, but my husband needed his phone. He left it in the car because it has his um, app that keeps track of the, the points, the reward points and whatnot. So I unlocked the car and he ran out. Well, I forgot to lock my car back up. And this particular coffee shop has a spot at the coffee shop for drivers to come in and get the coffee orders and stuff. There was a coffee order sitting on the shelf and you know, I'm just hanging out waiting for our coffees to be called. And I look out the window and I had seen this, this driver come in and leave with, you know, the, the tray with the coffees and everything like that and you know whatever you, you see that all the time it's normal but I look out the window and my passenger door is open and he is in my car <laughs> and I'm like oh my gosh somebody's in our car and so he I mean he's in here like I think he's setting the drinks down on my passenger seat and I and I'm like what is going on so my husband like runs out and he's like hey hey that's our car he kind of peeks up out of the 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 car and's like obviously in shock I don't even and I'm thinking to myself maybe he has the same car well he gets his drinks and I see him go across the parking lot he doesn't even drive a Prius, <laughs> let alone the same color. It's a light color too, but it was too funny. I have no idea why he went right towards my car and started loading her up. I'm wondering if he would have gotten the driver's seat, but it's like, 
you would think he would realize this wasn't his car. So anyways, we were leaving and he was about, he was, he was pulling out. So we had to roll down the window and, and give him a laugh and a wave. But yeah, <laughs> fellow driver, I guess he, he's maybe he's been looking at the Prius. I don't know, <laughs> but that was pretty funny. I don't know if you guys have ever had anything like that happen. Another time that something similar like that happened, we were at Walmart. We kind of had a stop though, um, in front of Walmart and you know we we're in our truck at the time and it had tinted windows and this lady walks up and she pulls on the handle like she's she's going to reach for the handle i seen her out of the corner of my eye and locked the the doors really quick and she tried getting in the truck and i'm like oh my gosh she's seen it was locked and took off i'm like how crazy so it is definitely important to keep your doors locked at all times you just never know um i'm sure some of you guys have experienced stuff like that but you just never know i'm like what is she thinking she thinks she's just gonna hop in and and everything's gonna be good it's just <laughs> craziness but anyways that's what happened a fellow driver it was funny you know maybe he needed a coffee himself i don't know but um we got a good laugh and all was good he was cool and whatnot so let's see what else we can get um yeah all right guys i finally got something i needed to leave the parking lot and get the wheels to move in and i got a few offers of course there's the declines uh uber eats wanted to send me an offer for four dollars and 74 cents for seven miles you guys already know absolutely not and then doordash wanted to send me something six miles five dollars and 75 cents that is a no-go and then uber eats wanted to come back and give me something reasonable seven dollars fifty cents for wendy's for 1.6 miles that is a yes so i'm heading there now now the question is is the lobby open or do i got to go through the drive-thru hopefully the lobby's open and i don't have to go through the drive-thru um because it is later in the evening and you guys know the drive throughs can get long so we're gonna go find out Do you know if there's any drinks with this no. Uber Eats order? Okay, perfect, thank you. thank you. I got the order and the lobby was open, so yay for that. And my GPS is like, not acting right. You know? Hmm. Interesting, I think it's confused. <laughs> I'm like, I know where there's a liquor store over on my left, but the way the map's pointing, it's, it looks like it wants me to go right, but I know where the liquor store is. It's over to the left. I need to go this way, so I don't know. And I hit, you know, you can hit that little swiggly thing to bring the map back on to point. It doesn't want to get back on point, so anyways <laughs> i'm like what is going on four minutes 1.3 miles until drop off and i did message a customer i'm on my way and they responded thank you so the other apps are on and uh we'll see if we can get something else i am waiting to turn spark on though until 20th after the hour um so i'm not getting all the leftover offers and you know having to decline all those so yeah we're gonna go get this order dropped off. Hopefully uh, the offers will start coming and it kind of, it's you just drag when they don't come in. It's, <laughs> um, but you gotta roll with it. If it's dead, I'm going home. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see how this goes tonight. Orders dropped off. It was an apartment, but it's one of the very easy apartments. Well marked. You can see the building number. You can see the apartment numbers and uh, there's no trees blocking it. They must keep the trees trimmed around here because there are trees by it, um, but they're visible, which I like. So easy drop off. So like I said, I was going to try to catch another order on the way to drop off and uber eats and doordash sent me an offer at the same time from the same restaurant but they were both really bad offers one from uber eats was three dollars fifty cents for 2.9 miles that is just a horrible offer and then doordash was for three dollars and 75 cents for 2.4 miles no go absolutely not and uber eats is sending me something right now another bad one six dollars and 62 cents for 6.9 miles for mr beast 
you know guys i think it's just one of those days i think i'm in the heart of the summer slowdown right now it's just been really slow lately i mean even lunchtime i mean the offers come in but they're really really bad and dinner time slower than usual at least for me and the offers are just really bad you're really having to pick through them and sometimes when it's really bad i will just go home there's no point in you know wasting your time out here especially when you got other things you can be doing so i'm gonna take a spin and uh, see if i can get anything else we're gonna see how this goes we are gonna see because um it's about that time when they have been typically ordering for dinner um but we are in summer so it's just slow very slow all right guys i'll be back with you so Walmart Spark threw me an offer for 11.9 miles for $24.43, but I have to drive to another city, another city by the name of Sherwood, and I also took this city off my list, so that was a decline. And then DoorDash threw me a reasonable offer, $6.75 for 2.5 miles. I am here, and hopefully the order will be ready and we can see what else we can get. All right. Hi, uh, picking up for Chase P with DoorDash. Chase P. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh, just cool. Thank you. Thank you. I've got the Chinese food, so we are all good there. Customer is seven minutes, 1.8 miles, and they are in an apartment, but I'm familiar with these apartments, so hopefully it'll go smooth. <laughs> um, sometimes it can get a little complicated, but um, for the most part, this complex is pretty, pretty smooth. So, all right, we'll be there shortly. Chinese food is dropped off. Easy to find GPS took me right to the location. Now there's two entrances. The parking spot that I pulled into, the door was open so I could see their neighbor's apartment. So I just had to literally walk in and they were right off to the left. So easy, easy drop off. I did get an offer from DoorDash for $10 for 10 miles, but there are two pickups. And you guys already know, absolutely not. And then Uber Eats wanted to send me an offer, $4.00. 59 cents for 4.4 miles the bad ones are coming in um, but i did finally get a good offer from doordash for red robin six dollars 25 cents 2.2 miles i am heading there now and hopefully it'll be ready so um, we can keep these wheels to moving but the offers are looking like they're coming in just really have to weed out the bad to find the good as usual all right guys Hi there. Order was on the shelf and ready to go. So customer is six minutes, 1.2 miles. Now we are heading back to the same apartment complex that I was at earlier. Um, but like I said, for the most part, it's easy to find. There's certain buildings that can be kind of tricky, um, but right down the street. So easy order. All right, we're heading there now. All right, Red Robin is dropped off. And like I said, this is the apartment complex that I was just at, I'm familiar with it. Um, but the building that I had to deliver to was off of a path and I had called the customer to get some better instructions because there was no instructions and I wanted to make sure I was taking the right path to get there. And she told me that there was a path that I couldn't even see from where I was. It kind of was off the road, it kind of dipped down. And then she was gonna send her husband out to meet me because it was kind of confusing. And so I'm getting on this path that she's telling me about and you know, walking down it and I finally see the building, but I don't see her husband anywhere. So I'm like, interesting. So I called her and told her that I found the building, but I haven't seen her husband because she told me, you know, what shirt he's wearing and stuff. and. Man, oh man, I eventually found the building, got the order dropped off, but it's one of those buildings. I haven't delivered to that building, but now I know. And then Spark sent me an order. It's a shop and deliver order, which is one of my favorites for $27.30, but it's in another city. And I'm like, gosh, the miles were 6.9, not too bad for $27, but it ain't here. I'd have to drive there, which is probably 20, 25 minute drive. And then I'd have 6.9 nine miles to drop off the customer's order so no go if it was here i would definitely do it so i'm gonna see what else we can get um i'm heading back to where all my restaurants are and we'll 
go from there. So offers are coming in like Uber Eats is coming in back to back, but they are no good, <laughs> no good. I had to decline a $6.67 order for 6.3 miles. And on top of that, it's a shop and pay. Now, yes, the, there's only three items, but I mean, for $6.67 and then high miles for that pay, and you gotta go shop for it, Oh man, oh man is all I gotta say. And then right after that, they sent me a $7.54 order for eight miles. Uber Eats, what is going on? And then another really bad one, $3.71 for 2.7 miles, another absolutely not. And of course I hold out as I usually do because I wanna make sure the offer is reasonable for me, my time my vehicle for everything. Um, I finally got something reasonable, $7.84 for 2.6 miles for Wendy's. We're going back to Wendy's and um, it's right down the street. So hopefully the lobby's open, but it's a little bit later. I'm gonna bet that it's not. If it is, it's a bonus. Um, if the drive throughs long, it depends how long it is. We shall see, we're heading there now. All right guys, can you take a guess? The lobby is closed. There is a line and for the price, I am not waiting in the line. I don't know how long I'll be in the line. Sometimes they can surprise you and move fast and sometimes they're really slow and then you're stuck in the line. And for the amount of pay, it's not worth it for me. Um, DoorDash sent me another offer, $8.47 for 11.5 miles. And I'm like, absolutely not. A lot of bad offers coming in tonight. And you know, there's some good ones here and there, but it's just one of those nights. You have them here and there. Um, I feel like I'm like in the heart of the summer slowdown right now and it, it, it is what it is. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I'm going home um, and uh, come back out tomorrow and uh, have another day. Hopefully things will be a little bit better. Like I said, it comes with the territory. So I appreciate you guys riding along with me as always. And if you enjoyed riding along with me, be sure to hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Ring the bell so you don't miss out on any videos that I post. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.